Hello, this is Miss Townsend and I love movies. Welcome to Math with Townsend. This video is for grade 10 academic students who are studying the, um, the summative questions. This is the solution to question seven. So here's that question. It says, Ken earned $6,000 working during July and August. He decided to invest part of the $6,000 in an account that pays 4% simple interest per year and the remainder of the money in a government bond that pays 3.5% simple interest per year. After one year, the 4% investment earned $30 more than the 3.5% investment. How much did Ken earn at each rate? How much interest did Ken earn at each rate? Okay, so this is a question about um, depositing money and earning interest. So before we try to turn this into a two variable word problem, let's make very sure that you understand how to calculate interest for a simple problem. So let's say that Ken had invested all $6,000 in the 3.5% account. And don't worry about the fact that this one says account and this one says government bond. For our purposes, they do exactly the same thing in this question, which is they earn an interest rate. So if Ken had invest, invested all of his money into this 3.5% account, oops, I don't know what that little dot is, um, how much interest would he have earned? So the formula you have to use looks like this. Interest equals PRT. So interest earned is principal, starting amount, times rate, percentage, as a decimal, times time. Now in this case, time is one year, so we don't really have to worry about that. So in this case, the interest earned would be $6,000, oops, that's the principal, times interest rate in decimal format, not percent format, so that means divide by 100, and times one because it's one year, so I don't really need that. And then if you type that into your calculator, you would get $210 in interest. Let me just double check my math. Boom, $210. So make sure you can do that for an easy, simple question, because obviously if you don't know how to calculate interest, there's no way you're going to do the more complex word problem. Okay, so now that we've seen that, let's look at the actual word problem, because in fact, he doesn't take all $6,000 and throw it into one account. He splits it between a 4% account and a 3% account. And don't assume that he splits it evenly, because they didn't say that. So we can't make that assumption. All we know is somewhere between zero and $6,000 was put here, and something between zero and $6,000 was put here. So how do we do this? We have $6,000 to split between these two accounts. So I put a paper bag here to represent putting money into an account. Yeah, I like diagrams. So how much money does he put into this account? Well, we don't know, so let's call it X. How much money does he put into this account? I don't know. Let's call it Y. Um, so he's going to put X dollars here and Y dollars here. Now, pause. Is there a relationship between X and Y? Yeah. X plus Y has to be, oops, that's a Y. X plus Y has to be $6,000 because that's the amount of money he's investing. So right away, I know one of the th equations I'm going to have to work with. So let's keep going. What happens now? So he takes part of $6,000, puts it into this paper bag, uh, puts it in this account and earns interest. So how much interest does he earn from this account? Well, he earns, his principal is X dollars, his interest rate is 3.5%, and he leaves it for one year. So simplifying as far as I can, this interest rate would be zero, his interest earned would be 0.035x, okay? Let's look at the other account. So in this account, he earns an interest rate of Y dollars principal, 4%, so four over 100, and again, one year. So if I simplify that, I get 0.04y. So this is how much he earns in the first account, and this is how much he earns in the second account. 
do I have a relationship between them? Let's go back to the wording of the question. I am told that the 4% investment earned $30 more than the 3.5% investment. Oh, so see this amount here. This is what he earned from this investment, and it is $30 more than this investment. So how do I say that algebraically? I can say that this amount here is the other amount, but $30 bigger. Oops, my pen messed up there. So don't confuse where that $30 goes. Oh, look, split page. I don't want that. Okay. Um, plus 30. Now, make sure you know why I'm putting plus 30 here. This number is the bigger number. This value is $30 more. So that means this number here is smaller. So I can't say that they're equal unless I make this number a little bit bigger. Does that make sense? So the plus 30 goes here because it says that this investment is equal to this much plus $30. So it's $30 more than this. So let's, now that we have this idea, let's write everything as if it's a proper word problem. And I know your teachers, this is what a proper word problem is. Let X be, and what was X again? X was the amount invested at 3.5%. The amount invested uh oh my pen is acting up this is going to be messy invested at 3.5 percent and let y be the amount invested at four percent and there are two equations that we know. We know this equation, that the amount invested here plus here has to equal a total of 6,000 bucks. So one equation, that x plus y equals 6,000. You don't put um, dollar signs or units in equations. The other equation we know is the relationship between the size of the interest rates. So we know that the amount earned in the 4% account is $30 more than the amount earned in the 3.5% account. So I wrote it backwards just because maybe that'll help if you still don't see that this is exactly what I'm told, that the amount earned at 4% is equal to $30 more than the amount in the, in the other account. And that's really the hard part of any word problem, right? Is identifying your variables properly and finding the equations that will help you solve. And once you have the equations, it's now just straight up algebra. So how do you want to solve it? Um, let's solve by substitution. Why not? So I'm going to take equation one and I'm going to rewrite it. So I'm going to rewrite equation 1 so that I isolate y. So there's equation 1, and now I'm going to sub that. So I'm going to take 6,000 minus x as my value of y, and I'm going to sub that into the other equation. So that's the math I have to do. So, so 0.04y equals... 30 plus 0.035x. And again, this is a substitution, why you see a big bracket, and this is the value of y that I'm substituting in. So instead of y, I write 6,000 minus x. And what I'm left with is, of course, one equation with one variable, in this case, that variable is x. So now I just have to do math. So 6,000, so times 0.04. So I'm multiplying 0.04 into the bracket. 
So 0 0.04 times 6,000 is 240. 0 0.04 times negative x is negative 0 0.04. Three, five x. So now I'm going to add 0 0.04 to both sides and subtract 30 from both sides. So I'm going to get 210 equals 0. Point, hmm, I'm adding <laughs> 0 0.075 x. So again, I subtract 30 and I add it 0 0.04. So take my pen, divide by 0 0.075, divide by 0 0.075, and I will know how much I invested in the X account. So 210 divided by 0 0.075, so X equals 2,800. And therefore, Y equals 6,000 minus 2,800, so Y equals 3,200. Now. Don't pretend like we're done. I solved for x and y. Go back to the question. What did it say? How much interest did Ken earn at each rate? So we are not done. So we know that Ken invested $2,800. So $2,800 at 3.5%. At let me just fix my spelling boo-boo. So $2,800 at 3.5% equals, so you're going to do 0 0.035 times 2,800. So 98 bucks. And $3,200 at 4%, so 4% of 3,200 is 1,000. Oops. Oops, bear with me, calculator issue. Yeah, 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 I could do it in my head. Is 128. Now, at this moment in time, double check. Is this $30 more than this? <laughs> yes, it is. Good thing, because if it wasn't, we would have made a mistake. Now, because it's a word problem, how do you finish? You say, therefore, Ken earned $98 interest. You can tell that something's going wrong by the way my pen is reacting. Um, so let me finish here real quick, and it'll be messy. Um, so Ken earned $98 interest in the 3.5% account. And I'm just going to say, et cetera. Obviously, you don't write, et cetera. You would finish your conclusion. Hope that was helpful. Ask me in the comments. Come and find anybody in the math department if you want to know more information. Otherwise, good luck studying and see you in school.